No, no question about that. Uh, with with regard to your movie, let's talk about your movie a little bit. Okay. Your movie in the preview, I've not seen the movie, but based on the preview that your publicist sent me, the movie says it will give you 10 prophecies that reveal the future of the world, as well as 10 indisputable signs that we are living in the last days. They now, are 10, yeah, absolutely. Now, 60% of Americans, according to the Pew Research Center, think that so-called end times theories of the, either the return of the Messiah, apocalypse, rapture, etc., are totally bogus. So do you think that that's really palatable right now to the average American? Absolutely. They're being fed lies by the liberal media, uh, lies about the Bible by uh, atheists across the country who, who don't understand Scripture and don't know the Lord. Then but you to make be clear, your Ray, are you saying that the reason 60% of Americans find the entire concept of end times theories to be bogus is because they've been tricked into thinking that by the liberal media and atheists? Perhaps, but it, it, I, I'm, not, I'm not impressed by percentages. I, I, it, I, I'm what not impresses you? Tell me what impresses you. Truth impresses me, but look, Pontius Pilate had a vote, should we crucify him or not? And the majority said crucify Christ, and it was a wrong thing to do. Just because 60% say something's true or not true doesn't change truth. If I believe the sun comes out at night, it's square and it's made of ice, doesn't matter what I believe, if I get the whole world to agree with me, it doesn't change realities. Well, but the Reality difference there, Ray, we have to, you and I, I know that this is usually the point in the interview where you talk about no explanation for the creation of a blade of grass or a bird. That, that's usually where you go to, but I would be no, remiss if I no. did. But hold on a second, Ray. Do not. Hold on a second. You, you've said that many times. I know that line almost by heart. There's I no explanation for a blade of grass? Hold on a second, though. It, well, your explanation would be God created it. But the question that's I'm trying to get to, Ray, is there's a difference between an assertion about about God, for example, or maybe I'm asking you, I'll phrase it this way. Is there okay. a difference between an assertion about the creation of the universe by God and an assertion that the sun is square and made of ice? Because one we can observe now and the other is based on assertions made by men who wrote the Bible. No, absolutely wrong. Incorrect. No. So it's the same. They're the same types of assertions. A absolutely. The They're assertion not assertions. about the assertion you don't make about an assertion God about the sun being hot. It's axiomatic. You don't make an assertion about it coming out in the daytime. It comes out in the daytime and it's hot. And it's the same with the existence of God. It's axiomatic. Scientifically, there's a creator. It we can't don't, be a but, creation but, without well, a creator. But that's only if you accept that there was a creation. And and that is actually an you're implicit in your statement, Ray. And I don't I, I know we're language. not going to, I know we're not going to agree on this. But implicit let me, let me in your language, language is the idea that there was a creation. Let me let me change my language and make it atheistic. Nature is absolute proof there is a maker. Nature couldn't create itself. For nature to create itself, it had to be pre-existent to make itself before it made itself, which is scientifically ludicrous. So no, no, no. But this is this is a logic game that is often played, and it already assumes so many things. And it is kind of wordplay because then we say, well, what is nature? Was we could argue that nature was even before we had the colloquial nature on Earth that matter and energy are nature. The, the entire idea of what you're presenting, Ray, assumes that there was what you would describe as a creation, and we don't know that. You don't know it. You, well, how do you know it? Because I've got common sense. No, it's because Goodness you believe me. God. It's because you assert that God is right, and it is only an assertion, Ray. Okay.